people from Freiburg, people from Shapley, people from Rangeley, Wells, Agunquit, Kittybunk, Kittybunkport, all over the state who are standing up and saying no to corporate takeover of our water resources. Citizens are supporting one another and organizing with their allies and legislators to battle this enormous multinational, multi-billion dollar corporation with a huge budget for public relations. Right now, we see that citizens are engaged in a democratic process to write their own ordinances in their communities. And on a state level, we have legislators such as Representative Rick Burns and others who are supporting LR59 to protect our groundwater. And the groundwater needs to be protected from many different angles, the most important of which is politically. Certainly, environmentally, water needs to be protected. Politically, we're at risk. The Attorney General's Office and the Public Utilities Commission do not want to speak to us or anybody else about the implications of representatives of the people signing contracts with multinational corporations. They do not want to talk about NAFTA. There's people here today that tell me they can't talk about NAFTA because you don't know enough about it and they would have to educate you first. I submit to you that Americans know all they need to know about NAFTA, GATT, and CAFTA. We've lost our industrial base and now we're at risk of losing our natural resources. It's time we, we, we broke the silence. It's time we spoke up. Thank you for coming. That's what you're doing, and that's what we're going to do. And we now have to think 100 years in the future, and who will suffer when we do not control our water resources? When the corporations, and the corporations have control over who is going to have access to water and who will not have access to water. I want to talk a little bit about the environment and bottled water in regards to the environment. You've all heard Nestle's ads and their big dollars they're spending on a campaign trying to convince us that they care about the environment, that they're taking care of the environment, that they care about resources and natural resources. Well, listen to public radio, look into some of the newspapers. They're mounting a very expensive campaign to try to convince the people of Maine that they are environmental stewards. But wait. See that? See that bottle, Palm Springs? That's filled with the amount of oil that's necessary to make one of these bottles. And over 40 million billion plastic bottles are made a year. The water industry puts two and a half metric tons of carbon dioxide into the air. They use 17 million gallons of oil every year. If you go out to the eastern Pacific, there's a place called the Pacific Patch. 500,000 square miles of plastic bottles bobbing up and down because it's a landfill. Mm. One of these bottles takes 1,100 years to degrade in a landfill. Now tell me that this company producing these plastic bottles, which have, a ca have several chemicals in them, which are endocrine disruptors and probable causes of cancer, are environmentally friendly. Tell me they're environmentally friendly. No. They're running the biggest greenwash campaign we've seen in Maine in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And their average, they told us that they were gonna hire 200 people. You know how many they have? 40. This is not a friendly, ecologically concerned corporation. And Mainers need to protect their natural resources and stand up against it. I am one who presented the pleas Stop Now moratorium, which hopefully we will vote on this Saturday. And if we pass our moratorium, we will have 180 days to get that ordinance established, which will stop them. I hope we'll stop them cold. We can say no to Nestle. Other people have, and the people in Chapley really believe that we can do it too. And with your support and your help from all over, ladies and gentlemen, we have to say no to Nestle. Yes!
It's large corporations, it's international corporations which are protected in all kinds of ways by the laws that are coming in and taking, taking our natural resources, controlling our natural resources. We must be vigilant, we must take our government back, we must be we the people, and I think that today we all are. Persuading people the value of uh, enacting a water extraction ordinance, hopefully a rights-based ordinance. This will be the kickoff of a statewide effort in which we will uh, be trying to prevent Nestle from leaking into unsuspecting towns as they have in ours in Kennebunk Wells and Kennebunk Port and Agunquit. Uh, Freiburg. And Freiburg and Hollis. And please, please remember, we the people must decide who will control our water and who will be the stewards of our water for future generations. Thank you, everybody. From Maine Fair Trade. She's going to talk a little bit about NAFTA. Thank you. Yeah, I see a sign over there that says NAFTA rules. And that's what I want to talk about, the rules of NAFTA. Because um, at the Maine Fair Trade campaign, we want to talk about that. These multinational um, trade agreements that we've been signing, NAFTA, the North America Free Trade Agreement, the World Trade Organization, have huge implications in the fight over water and people aren't talking about it enough. So if a town signs a contract with Nestle, a multinational corporation, and then decides a few years down the road that they find the need to regulate their groundwater, that regulation could be subject to challenge, not here in Maine, but in a foreign tribunal, a foreign NAFTA tribunal. If we want to have decision-making power over our water, we have to be very aware of what these rules are in these international trade agreements. So we want to work proactively to change the laws and change this trade policy so that we can keep local control over our natural resources here. Portland is a take back the tap city. Yeah! <laughs> So Nestle is really, um, or almost really, siphoning millions of gallons of water into little plastic bottles and trucking across um, the country to sell uh, hundreds of thousands of times the cost of tap water. The current battle in Maine is just one part of a national endeavor to fight corporate efforts to bottle water from local supplies. And I want to thank everybody for coming out today. And I want to thank those of you who couldn't make it out there, and also to thank our coalition partners all across the country who are watching very closely what happens here in Maine. And we are going to succeed. Thank you very much. Please pick up some literature here at our lift table. And please, please remember, we the people must decide who will control our water and who will be the stewards of our water for future generations. Thank you, everybody.